I first saw this linen jumpsuit at the pink door in this bright green and I had immediately grabbed it. But when Christine, the owner, told me that they also have it in this beautiful pink, I decided to choose this one instead because it's a better color for my skin tone. And then when I brought it home and was thinking about what to pair it with, I initially thought I would do like an all pink outfit with those um, older Stuart Weitzman platforms behind me. But because I wanted to wear it nice and high on my waist, and I'll get to this jumpsuit in a second, um, it brought the length of the pant up and it would have been too high and floating a few inches, um, probably like a couple inches off the ground in the platform. So I opted for just a regular heel. Now they were too long to do a flat with um, or like a sneaker because I'm on the shorter side, I'm 5'3". But so I instead, I'm gonna hold on, um, chose to pair them with these new um, John Vito Rossi shoes that I picked up at the Saks I picked them up at the Saks on Worth Ave in Palm Beach. They're a yellowy green color, and I loved it with the pink. And I have the pink nail polish on now. So I thought that was gonna be a nice little pop of color when the pants move. And then for handbag, I didn't really have anything that went with the shoes. Um, and I could do any color really, but I just thought, and I know my, my this is so, this is older Dolce & Gabbana. Um, the pink is not right, it's not the same shade. But I mean, like I say, I'm not a department store. I don't have every option available to me. So this is the closest thing that I had that could work. I could have done, I don't know if you see the pale yellow bag in the back, but it was too similar to the shoe, but like off a bit. So I decided to just use this. And then because there's gold in the handbag, I wanted to wear um, gold accessories. And I knew because this, this um, because I have it unbuttoned a bit and I have a little bralette here from the pink door as well, which I've worn before, maybe a couple months ago. Um, and because it was gonna be sitting nice and open, I wanted a bit of a statement piece around my neck or like multiple necklaces or something and I was um I was recently given the 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 necklace and bracelet um their Gucci as a gift and so I thought this would be sort of the perfect neckline to feature the necklace and then I just wore the matching um bracelet as well so they are recent and they uh I'm sure they have them on a website um but yeah so because I was doing these pieces I didn't want to do anything too big like I wanted to keep it so like a pop but like not too over the top and so I just did like a diamond stud earring just to finish off the ear. This jumpsuit is one size and when I first saw it it's quite big. I'm gonna undo this for you so you can see how spacious this thing is. I mean it's and so when I when I loosen it then you can see how long it is. So really if I wanted to wear the platform sandal I could have just now, keep in mind, I'm 5'3", size 24 in denim. I could have done them a little looser and just tied it just a little looser, not so high up on my waist, and then they'd be a little longer. Now I'm stepping on it, then I could wear that platform sandal. But I wanted it, because there's so much fabric, I just wanted to tie it nice and tight up on my waist so that, because I'm a rectangular body shape too, I, I have to be careful that I don't look boxy and things because I'm already boxy. I don't have, I don't have curves. Um, and of course, here's my scoliosis again, making this pop out on this side, but that's life. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of shape, a little bit of length. So I decided to have it tied up tight, up higher on the waist. But like I said, I mean, this thing is fantastic. So like, I mean, it's just, there's so many ways you can wear it lower. You can wear it loose. Like if that's your thing to wear things loose, you can just maybe even do like a little tie here, um, as loose, as high. I can mean, it, of course, so where is the crotch on this? So this is where it would be if I was, you know, hiking it all the way up. So there is quite a bit of fabric here. It's quite long, but I mean, for someone, you know, I, I thought there's no way this thing is gonna make me look like, I'm gonna look overwhelmed in it. But honestly, once you tie it, and of course it's gonna be messy now, so don't come at me. Um, yeah, just messy. But look, it just slims you right down. It gives your body shape. And yeah, a really flexible piece. Really comfortable and easy to wear. Um, I'm not sure if, I know it's linen. Is it 100%? I don't know, I don't have the tag. But not itchy. You know how some in linen can be kind of itchy? This is not at all. And the sleeves, I don't mind. You know, I don't usually like sleeves in this area, but just the cut of it, the way it's nice and loose and the way it hangs, I think it's like a fantastic piece to dress up, dress down. If you have the right height of the pant, like a flip-flop, a sandal, sneakers, easy, like easy instant outfit if you're going on vacation. 
And this, this piece isn't gonna go out of style anytime soon. These pants from Zara were the start of this outfit. And when I was shopping online for wide leg trousers, I stumbled upon them and then I noticed that there was a matching jacket. So I picked that up as well. Now, because I wanted to do sort of a white, now it's just a, it's a warmer white. Not quite ivory, but it's just an off-white. And because I wanted to do like a white black thing, and I knew because of the height of these pants, because I'm on the shorter side. Now I even had them hemmed probably two inches. So they were even so long, even for my super high Valentino tangos, I was still too short for them and I'm 5'3". So I had them hemmed two inches and they sit, as you can see, almost about the ground. So they're super, super long. So if you're very tall and you're worried that these pants will be too short for you, just add another four inches to everything. Well, I guess another two inches to the length of the pants that I have right now. And because I was wearing these um, patent uh, black leather shoes, I finally got my hands on a, um, this is a small Lady Dior and uh, just the black on black which I've been wanting for a long time, so I finally picked it up to go with all my uh, black patent leather uh, shoes. So I thought it was the perfect time to pair it with these pants. And uh, because the jacket is covering um, the belt loops, I opted not to do one because you don't really see it when the jacket is down. Um, so instead, I just want to go really neutral and wearing this very old um, Aritzia, little, what do you want to call it? Like a little, it's not quite a tank. It's just a little top with these crisscross backs. I won't take the jacket off because it leaves me very exposed. Um, this is exposing enough, but yeah, it's no longer available. It's at least like seven, eight years old uh, and I haven't seen it since. So let's talk accessories. I knew I wanted to do this Valentine Rouge uh, little faux pearl earring, which I have worn before because it's just a nice compliment um, to the coloring. It's similar in coloring to the suit. And then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do around my neck. Wasn't doing anything around my wrists. This time I kept my sleeves down and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I just, I wanted to do a statement a little bit of something, something different. So I chose this really cute, see this little skull face. Um, oh, it's backwards, sorry. Oh no, no, that's right, that's right. Um, the skull face um, from Valentine Rouge, longer necklace, which I normally don't do. And I normally wouldn't wear it with this, but because I wasn't wearing a belt, because the jacket's longer, everything's longer, and I had this big V here, I just wanted to do something, I wanna say dramatic, but not dramatic if that makes any sense. Into these Zara pieces. I am wearing extra small in both. I'm 5'3", as I mentioned before, 24 in denim. The pants are fitting nice and snug, very high-waisted. I could even go higher, but they're kind of drooping a bit. I'm actually wearing my sleeves down, and the reason I'm doing this is because they're nice and um, close. They're sitting closely to my body. They're not too wide, and they're also longer. See how long they are? They're like too long. You know, whereas I guess if a, a nice tailored jacket, these would be a little bit too long. So my whole intention was this to be kind of loose and long and flowy. And because the sleeves are a little bit longer, I keep them down. If they were sitting like right here, I probably wouldn't. If they were sitting here, I definitely wouldn't. So it depends where um, the sleeve hits, depends though on the width of the sleeve, depends on the length of the jacket, and depends if I'm trying to look more um, streamlined or kind of loose and flowy or a little oversized but yeah so it always just depends on the outfit 